What's up guys and welcome back to Lego City Undercover. And today we're gonna be tackling chapter four when the going gets tough. So let's go ahead and start making our way to the dojo because if you guys didn't see the last episode, you should go ahead and check it out because we got our buds beat by the Rex Fury. What an honor. Did we just pass a um, customization booth? We did not. Because people have been asking me, they want me to change back to the normal uh, chase instead of, oh, look at this. Um, instead of, what's it called? The, uh, the jail officer that I'm currently dressed up as, but I don't know where any of the uh, dress up areas are, so I'll have to find one of those and then change my outfit at that point, but what is over here? There's a little question mark. Um, come back and give you my insurance details <laughs> later. Uh, I'm not really sure. Doesn't actually look like, wait, wait, there was something up there. And I think, yeah, it looks like there's something up here that needs my help, but it's not a part of the main quest. And right now I'm just focusing on main quest stuff and we're almost at half a million studs, which is pretty cool. Also, a lot of you guys let me know if I should keep the double studs or not. And you guys said, yeah, keep the double studs. So I'm glad you let me know. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and change your costume from the policeman or the prison guard to the police chase. Like we got a few of them here at this point. Let's just do normal Chase McCain. That looks good to me. So we can go ahead like that and we're good. Hopefully that makes you guys happy. So yeah, I'm still, you know, with the idea that we're gonna tackle one chapter at a time. That sort of seems what fits this game the best. Looks like I gotta go this way. The game is telling me it wants me to go the other way, but if I can get a shortcut done this way, I wanna give it a shot. Sir! <laughs> no, it's not your bad. Everybody in the way is their fault. It's not us at all. Now let's start boosting again. So why does it, I guess I really should. Maybe this isn't the way I'm, oh, you know what, I'm supposed to go on the bridge, so I should really listen to the game because it's telling me about shortcuts. Oh, let's go through this though. The game wouldn't tell me about that, now would it? And that's sort of the thing, I don't trust it because it might not tell me about shortcuts. Now I think that like we broke one of our tires because I was like spinning out a lot there for a little bit. Beep, 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 okay, here we go. Will they start moving out of the way if I do this? They don't, hmm. I don't know why. You would think they would. It would just make it easier to play and easier to drive because I find myself constantly crashing into people, but they just don't care. They couldn't care less, really. That's pretty insulting. I thought you would respect the law. I guess I'll have to drive them the sidewalk to teach some people some lessons. And we also get free studs out of it, so I'm not gonna complain. Now, I don't think it unequipped my times two studs, but I don't really know where it displays where the stud multiplier is. So I'll have to check before we start an actual level. But there we go, we broke 500,000 studs. No matter what, I'm not unhappy. I don't know if this is gonna be like other LEGO games where you can get like 20 quadrillion studs before the game's over, but probably that they sort of like doing that. Okay, well, we're sort of starting to make our way over. It is fun to drive through the city like this. It's just like this game is huge so far, and it's just a lot of fun. Oh boy. I'm just gonna break through all this because I'm getting cool pieces for it. I guess I'll try going through this way, see if this is a good shortcut. I would imagine it would be. Usually divide, like it doesn't tell me to go through these paths, but that doesn't mean you can't go through them. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this, it's a big jump. Yeah, I love it. No, there's another one. Yeah, look at that. That must have cut out so much time for us too. Awesome, awesome stuff. Ooh, drifting. Watch out for Chase McCain. Not only is it a great policeman, but he is like a professional driver. That was some great drifting we got going on there. Oh, that is so much fun to do, except for when I run into a rock. But hey, let's just pretend that didn't happen. So we've gone this far in the past. This is where we just were the last episode. This is where the mine is. But now we gotta wrap all the way around, I guess, and deal with some stuff over here. And oh, I think this is where the mine was. If not, this is an area we've been to before for a previous mission, but this is the dojo. Yowzers. All right, whoop. And what do we gotta do here? Um, oh, we can't quite, oh, this is the bridge to the dojo. So I need 30,000. Well then, I gotta find more bricks to purchase the super belt. Let's, how do I do that again? What, what button is that? Um, no, not that button. Uh, this button. Yeah, there we go. It's been a couple days since I last played, I'm sorry. Um, let's see what we can find then. Is there any? crazy super bricks in the area that I can actually afford to get? Uh-huh. I didn't know this was gonna be such a constant thing is that we constantly have to get more and more super bricks. There's actually not a ton in this area. And I also wanna see, what is this thing on the map here? This is, let's see, go here to purchase new characters. Okay, so it's not anything fancy, but there is bricks waiting for me here. 
Colin, please. No, that's that's one I have to buy. Okay, that's not something like, oh, it's waiting for you here. Interesting. Let me pull this back up really quick. It says it's right here. I don't see it. Oh, it's in the stump. I see you. I see you trying to hide in there. Bada boom. So there's another thousand, which is progress, but I need to find way more than that. So this end up, this might end up being quite difficult. Let's go ahead and try to get this one. I marked it on our maps, and it looks like it's atop of this little mountain. Can I climb this, or do I need? Oh, there it is. My voice is like super bad today. I don't know what's going on with it. So I can't go up this way, but there is something I can do about that. <clears throat> Maybe if I go around here? Huh. Oh, well, do I still have the hookshot? Well, the hookshot isn't like, you know, it isn't like Lego World's hookshot where I can just jump up to anywhere at any time. I gotta remember this isn't like Lego World's in that way. Huh. Like, it looks like I can almost get up here. What do I need? Maybe if I drive a car up and I hop off of the car? Here, are there any cars around here? Hmm. I do not see any. Oh, wait, wait, there is a really easy super brick, though. This, this one should be like 10,000, right? Ooh, so if we could find another one of those, that's all we need. So there are a ton in this area, so we just need to get one more of those, and I know where it is, it's just you know a matter of getting up there. So, Sorry, I gotta steal your car. Look at this, and it's a monster truck, sorry. <laughs> I, I, t I, st I take your monster truck and I run over you. I'm not giving you a good day, am I? All right, so we got this now, and we just passed another one, which I will go and check out in a second. Let's just see. What happens if I do this? Hold on, whoa, that was wonky. Can I not hop on top of cars? No, I can, but I can't hop off of cars when I'm already on top of them? Okay, this is awkward. Uh, I guess you can't. That's really weird, what am I supposed to do? And I didn't notice it tells you what kind of car it is on the top right, or top left, it was an iron back. I don't know how I'm getting up there. Maybe I need to play a character I just don't currently have? Here, let me go back one more time. Uh, Yeah, I don't think I can get up here right now. Well, I might as well go ahead and get this one. Then what can I do? First off, let's look around for more bricks. There is one in here, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to go into this one. Like, I don't like doing the side missions before the main missions are over, but if it's a part of the main mission in the long run, might as well go ahead and get it done, because, you know, there you go. I don't know if there's like a finite amount of these in the game, but we got another target achieved for our super build so we can finally come on over here and build this dojo bridge. Okay, dojo bridge, you shall be built. I have 30,000, or I have 32,000 out of 30,000 that I need, so build that bad boy in just instantly. I love how that looks, and even a little bit of slow motion. So cool, I love it a lot. And this game just has so many cool little moments like this. Just sort of thrown in here and there. Super build constructed. Three out of 65. Only 62 more to go, ladies and gentlemen. 62. Okay. Save progress. Good, good, good. Ooh, look at this. Money everywhere. I really hope I have double studs on right now. Oh gosh, I gotta go quick. I gotta go quick. Wow, a lot of that disappeared. Um, and we got Karate Guy. Oh, cool. Okay, so I really want to quick uh, quickly check. Do I have, uh, oh, I guess maybe that turns off with each one. Oh, I could've gotten so much more studs there. I wonder why it turns off. Well, you know, better to learn now than when, than, you know, when in a, an actual level, so that's pretty good. But here we go, we're in the dojo. I don't have a customization booth around here, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to turn into Karate Guy, but it'll be good for later at the least, so. Very awesome, this place is awesome. It reminds me of that other Lego property, Lego Ninjago. I know they have a new movie coming out. I don't know anything about Lego Ninjago except that I have a Lego Ninjago Lego Dimensions thing. But I don't know anything about Lego Ninjago itself, so pretty cool though, it reminds me of that. And here we are, Chase McCain. Barry Smith, 24 hour plumber and kung fu guru. The ultimate combo. Pipes Chakras since 1987. What a slogan. It's worth a try. Wow, this place is huge. He makes a lot of money for being a plumber and a karate dojo master. Well, probably knocking on the door is a great first step. Could use that? Or you can knock on the door. Learn Kung Fu. Hiya! <laughs> That's not what I, <laughs> the best way to learn Kung Fu, hook shot. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, can I talk to you? No? Oh, you know what? I bet you if I was wrong button, I bet you if I was the pickaxe guy. No, that didn't work. Huh. Oh, what is this? Uh, get ready. Oh, oh, look at this, a little puzzle. This is definitely something you need to learn if you're a Kung Fu master, is how to solve simple mazes. I mean, really, if you're doing some Kung Fu action and you don't know how to get through the maze, then the bad guy's gonna beat you every time that I was gonna set up a maze. So, you know, important Kung Fu rule. And we get something. I have no idea what this is, but I put it here. Yay! Oh, it was a firework. Okay, it's a ninja firework. The best kind. Oh, that gave me another sure thing. It is so close to being done. Ooh. Okay, so this, I keep on pressing the wrong buttons today. I don't know what's with me, but I need to go ahead and turn to you. Oh, and let's look for this. Yeah, da 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 da. Am I going the right way? Oh yeah, I am. I'm just sort of getting a little confused. Or okay. Oh, this way. So a lot of you guys have been telling me that a lot of the references in this game are actually from old crime movie references, which is awkward for me because I don't watch many of those. But maybe I have to start watching some soon. So if you have any recommendations on some movies I should watch. Let me know. I usually don't have tons of time to watch movies and TV shows nowadays, but I always try to make sh sure I have some time for some fun. You know, I mean, I have plenty of time for fun. I just spend 100% of my time making YouTube videos is the thing. So I can't quite hop up here, but maybe, oh my gosh, I always want to press the directional button to change my character, but it's not that. It's always this, L and R. Can I break this with that? No, I can't. But there is tons of stuff to break with this, and this is also a level where I can get a full stud meter. I think this level is actually called Kung Fu. I don't know if it tells me anywhere, but I think that's really funny. Kung Fu. <laughs> They're really good with those puns, huh? But I'm trying to get as many studs as I can. We already got two studs in, which is a good, you know, thing because usually these levels are pretty long. We got a bunch of stuff here. We can build something. Ooh, it's a thing. Oh, oh look at us go, beating it up. Whatever that thing is, one out of three. All right, well, looks like I have more searching to do. And there's another one of these things. I don't know what this is. Maybe we can do like a Kung Fu slam at some point. All right, this ability is locked into the story mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is any of this buildable? Not looking like it. So I'm just trying my best to find everything. Oh, you know what is this? A lot of bricks, we need 40,000. So we're more than halfway there. So I'm guessing we gotta just keep on lighting up these uh, fireworks and that's gonna keep getting us um, these super rainbow bricks. Like, I'm glad we're getting a bunch of these, you know, super bricks, but at the same time, it's frustrating because we instantly spend them. So I'm supposed to bring this over here. Ah, makes sense. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so I can go up here. I'm currently the ninja miner. I'm mine for ninja glory. Whatever that means. Maybe I'm mining for the perfect kind of metal to, oh, yeah, I can't do that with you, can I? All right, I used the L and R buttons instead of the directional keys that time. Good. But uh, maybe I'm mining for the perfect ore to make my ninja sword with. That would make sense. I gotta get these studs out. Like, I feel awful leaving them to be destroyed by time. Because that's just sort of what they do. They just wither away. Okay, let's get up here. And there's plenty of stuff up here. So, wait. Okay, for a second I thought I was gonna start sliding off. I was like, was that a mistake? It was not a mistake. But I'm not, ooh, purple stud. I'll take it. Studs sort of seem to be Hard to come by in the like the normal stages. Whoa, did you see that? I got 20,000 studs, I almost filled up the entire stud meter. Because it gives you 10,000 normally, but this made it give me 20,000 because of the time stewed. That is so awesome. I'm so glad I found that, because that's gonna make the game way easier, I think. Okay, so now we're way up here. I don't know if we're doing this earlier than we're supposed to be. Now yeah, this thing looks funny. Don't go too fast. I'll go as fast as I need to. If I gotta go speedrunner mode, I'll go speedrunner mode. Whoa, it lit the flame, and then I gotta put that on things. Why? Who knows, but why not? Okay, uh, pick that back up. Ooh, there's that last blue stud I need. There we go, Lego City Hero already unlocked. Man, we've been in this level for like two minutes. That's awesome. Get out of here. I'm gonna complain to the manufacturers of these torches. They last like 10 seconds. You're telling me. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and get another one now. Oh, I gotta do it every time. Only only a torch can light this fuse, so I guess I only need one torch at a time. 
That's a, that's a little like filler ish, you know? It's just like, why well, can't one torch do it? There you go. Oh no, maybe it's not that. It's they're running out of time, and I'm just being a dingus. Okay, well that makes sense. That torch only just burned long enough for me to get here. Okay, so let's nope. Pick that up. Put it here. And get myself another super duper brick of goodness and gracious. Or not. Oh, there it goes. It just took a second. <laughs> took a second to load. These guys are just all chilling out though. I like that. I like that. They're all just having a good time. So this play this thing right here also needs a torch. Just trying to thoroughly explore everything as much as I can. Oh, another one of these punchy punch things. Well, I'm gonna start punchy punching. And yet, no one is wearing a hat. <laughs> Cause it's not a hat set. You know it's not a hat set. Look at you go all kung fu on it. You're silly sometimes, Chase. You are very silly. Well, there's, I'm glad we're finding the most of them. Like, that's good. I wish I could get up there to make things a little bit easier. And, but I don't know quite how to do that just yet. I can't go too fast. But what about Sonic the Hedgehog? And gotta go fast and stuff. No, no memes? All right. No memes, no dreams. Let's go ahead and try to go this way. Try to get both of them at once. That would be nice. I would really appreciate that. So bada bing, and then bada boom. Got it. So no, wait, no, wait, wrong button. I know, the torch is over here. Pick it up. Oh wow, that actually reset the timer, I think. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> but there's the final fire we can work we need. So should be able to go ahead, pick this up, and plop on down here, and do what I need to do. This is a really big dojo though. Like this guy must make tons of cash off of his either like, I wonder what he makes more money off of. Is it both that he makes equal money off of plumbing and being a ninja master or maybe one does more than the other? Is it because of his disciples or is it because he's winning those ninja tournaments that give you tons of cash? Is this like Dragon Ball now? <laughs> a dragon. Sure thing. Is it a real dragon or a dragon statue? We're we just trying to show up the guy making a nice sculpture. I think so. Oh gosh, it's Oh no, the ninja's great is enemy. <laughs> oh no, his sculpture. He worked so hard on that thing, but we got the key. Oh, we could have just walked up to the guy. And I thought Dunby had bad breath. He does. It smells like old donuts. Yikes. But um, we could have just walked up to the guy and go, hey, I need that key to get inside. Or better yet, knock on the door. Chase can sort of be a jerk sometimes, just destroying things for no reason. And we are inside the like dojo. A fairy to me. Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service. I accidentally did it again. Here, exit out of here. Can I maybe break this with this? I don't know who breaks these things, but good to know they can be broken. And I don't know anything about this. Usually if it's locked, it means I haven't unlocked the character that can do that. So maybe at some point, maybe the ninja master is actually a florist. Who knows? Hmm, what is this? I don't have the uh, gong, or that is the gong, but this is the gong thingy. All right, pick it up. A gong. Yeah. That's even better than a bell. Yeah. Ready? Oh, boom. <laughs> I like it. Now what? Oh, hello. You don't look like. Oh, you you do sort of look like a ninja plumber. Shh. Have a listen to this. Okay. To learn is it your new mixtape? You are now completely relaxed. <laughs> the end. What? I know Kung Fu. That does Show not make any sense. Plumbing? <laughs> Show me that too. Whoa, look at us go. How do we learn Kung Fu like this? I don't understand. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe not as much Kung Fu as I thought. We learned how to receive Kung Fu in the face. <laughs> Still in the movie. Oh, reach him! Oh, he couldn't get the hops. He tickled him. We're not doing so well right now. I gotta say, he's giving us some Mortal Kombat treatment. Yikes! We don't know any kung fu. I should start you off against a few of my students. That might be better. Look deep within yourself to find your hidden potential, and you will triumph over your enemies. What also helps is throwing them around. Okay. See what you can do, Chase. We'll do what we can, as long as it isn't getting beat up anymore. So press square to quick throw an enemy. Quick throw! And then quick, wait, 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 wait. quick throw! Yeah, quick throw! Yeah, three quick throws. So why are you Australian? You might not be so lucky this time. How come? 
This guy really doubts us for saying that we know Kung Fu. Or, or no, no, Chase said we, he knew Kung Fu. Empty your mind, so press triangle when an enemy strikes. Hiya, counter! Ooh, we keep them in the butt. So we gotta do that a couple times. Ooh, nope, not happening. Yeah, I'm just, so I can just sit here and spam triangle, huh? Ooh, the body slam! I think that's more of a football move. You know, a little bit of a chest bump. Usually you don't use that as like a defensive technique. Oh, there's a butt kick again. All right, we did it. <laughs> we can just change random people while we do it. <laughs> what does that have to do with Kung Fu? I hope you're good at checkers. Journey of 10,000 miles starts with a single uh, phone call to a trampoline. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab him. Oh, look at us, our inner pro wrestler. Hey, catch. Oh, <laughs> there we go, we sort of threw it to him. Oh, I gotta do that a couple times. Oh, I mean, I grab you. No, here, grab you. There we go, catch. All right, dodge that. Pick you up or anybody really? Come on, pick you up, pick you up. It won't let me pick him up. Maybe because they're trying to meditate. Okay. This is really weird. Why can't I pick them up? Oh, there we go, big hug. Hiya! Oh, that time, that's what I wanted. Come on, come on, come on. Just hit me. It's just like they're not trying to hit me, so I don't think they will. Come on, come on. Oh, this is a grab? I guess so. Ooh, I like that move, actually. So there's more stuff we're learning. We're learning a lot about combat, which I really like. Usually LEGO games is just mash the square button, but this one is a little bit different, which is pretty cool. I know the LEGO Star Wars had some pretty cool combat as well with the lightsabers, so now we're just sort of combining everything we learned, right? I think. Ooh, it's a struggle. It's a struggle, I got you, though. Bada boom, get out of here with your brown pants. Now what? Oh geez, everybody's angry. So, are we beating people up or, oh yeah, yeah, we're just beating people up now, I think. It looks like it. They just sort of start meditating once I beat them. <laughs> They're like, okay, I just gotta think this one off before I get too mad at myself for losing. Okay, so now we're just dealing with brown pants. Get out of here, brown pants. No, wait, there's still one more. No, I don't, I don't know who I'm fighting anymore because they don't get taken out, they don't explode, they just go back to meditating. Is that all of them? No. Oh, I was in the air while I block your shot. That's how good I am. Come on, pick you up. And I got a struggle, but I got you. Bada boom, right on your face. You have good. Done well, take this belt with you as a sign of your skill. I can't accept this, Barry. Why? Oh, hello. <laughs> it's his belt. Well, there we go. Barry Smith's dojo level complete. Free play unlocked. Very cool, that was actually a really easy level. We got the full stud meter and we got at least one gold brick, right? Bada boom, level complete. Then we got another one for Lego City Heroes. So two gold bricks there, very cool. Let's continue on with the story. You have unlocked advanced combat. Very, very cool. I wasn't expecting to learn that. I mean, I should have once we figured out we were going to a dojo, but I didn't think the combat would be that hey, in depth. Chase, it's pretty cool. Are you busy? Does this have something to do with your favor, Ferelli? Yes. Funny story, I volunteered to pick up the department's new state-of-the-art police truck for its unveiling at the station this afternoon. And you've been hijacked by some criminals, right? Wow, how did you know? Wait, what number am I thinking of? I'll give you a clue, it's six. The truck, Frank? Oh yeah, well, they drove it around for a while, but we've stopped now. Any idea where you are? Um, when they were driving, I heard a really loud foghorn, so I think we went past the docks. Docks, uh-huh. Then I remember it feeling like we went over a train track. Train track, okay. And when we stopped, I looked out the window and saw Krabby Cove. You, I'll be right there. Where? He could have just told us we were going to Krabby Cove, so we're going the right way. Good guess by me. All right then, so this chapter ain't done just yet though. It's cool that there are levels within the chapters. It makes it confusing at the same time, but I don't mind it now that I've gotten used to it. This game is definitely like different from other Lego games, so it made it weird, like I couldn't, really figure out like how do I do things, but I think, you know, organizing it by chapter so far seems like the best idea I could have had. So, good stuff, yeehaw. Oh, I wanted to ride that motorcycle, but it's already gone, the moment has passed. I really want to ride a police helicopter, not helicopter, but motorcycle, because, oh, can I make this jump? Ready, whoop, yeah, you can. It sort of speed boosts you just in case you can. Whoa, this is a big one. Oh my gosh, but I don't think that's it. There's still more. <laughs> oh gosh, I missed it though. Oh, gotta get down here, here. Um, can I just plop down? I'm sure I can. Yeah. Oh, whoa, boom, okay, we did it. But I really hope that the police motorcycle can have 
speed boost, because that sounds like a lot of fun. There's like a lot of like, little things like this over here, like a little Aurora thing. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but I'm not too worried about it. Once again, not a part of the main quest, not too interested. So for right now, we're going over here. Those crabs just busted out of that crab cage. Be free, little crabs, be free. All right, so what's Chase gonna do here? Whoa, this is cool. Are you in there, Frank? Yes! Is that you, Chase? Have you come to rescue me? Shh! <laughs> Johnny, uh -oh. go fetch the rest of the gang. Tell Mr. Chen we have company. Uh, I think the robbers are still around, so be quiet! Oh boy, we got ourselves a bunch of ninja gang members. Well, let's do what we can. Bada boom, get out of here, there's one done. Ooh, we almost had to dodge a shot there, but I guess we were too busy beating you up. Oh yeah, that's right, we have to, I forgot that we have to arrest them. Oh, gotcha, I got a few of them, I got a few of them. Oh, catch, <laughs> two for one deal. Wow, that really worked, the double trouble, that's even an achievement. Awesome, and we got you, come on. Oh, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. How did that not get him? Here. Why is he, he's like dodging all my moves here. I gotta struggle with him. There we go. Bada bing. Whoa! That one's gonna hurt in the morning. Oh man, we didn't even get to arrest that guy. He just materialized. Jeez. Oh gosh, there's more of them. Oh, those are really cool. I really hope we can ride those uh, three wheelers. That was awesome looking. We got tons of more guys to beat up. So these, these shortless guys with like tons of pecs, for whatever reason, you just can't arrest him? No, I can arrest this guy. I just beat up the other guy so bad, there's no way you can arrest him. His bones were too broken, he would've just been able to slip through the cuffs, so we just had to make sure that he just disappeared forever. Oh boy, yeah, go and catch that dude. I love the double trouble thing, though. I think that's really, really cool. Ooh, get this. Wait, hold on. S excuse me, sir, I'm trying to arrest your friend here. Please be patient. Well, you'll all get your due justice. You just gotta wait, you gotta be patient. See, that guy disappeared too. Maybe he's always the last guy. Let's go. But there we go, we have saved. You drive fast, Honey, you can still make the that's the same, right? I'll settle for getting out of here alive. And I thought I was unambitious. Well, you say so. Oh, do we I get to drive this time. thing? I don't want oh, to let ho, ho. Down. One of the gang members mentioned someone called Chan. Any idea who that is, Frank? Ah, uh, probably Chan Chuang. He's pretty new to Lego City, but I heard he runs the biggest chop shop in town. I hope they taste nice. The chop shop is where they dismantle stolen vehicles, Frank. Oh, I guess I should cancel that reservation then. Oh boy. I think this Chan's connected to Rex Fury. Oh no, we're being chased down. Whoa, what is happening? Oh gosh, this is spooky. So we gotta get there in like four and a half minutes. Hopefully we can make it. This is so cool. Also, I'm just now noticing something. When you're in police mode, your PS4 controller will blink blue and red like an actual police vehicle. That is the coolest detail. I'm usually holding it under my desk, so I'd never notice that. And now I'm geeking out about it. That is so cool. That's one of the coolest uses I've seen for the PS4 like light. So that's really, really cool. Um. We're just gonna endanger every civilian possible because they're trying to make a roadblock for us. I could try to plop down the center there, but that might be a bad idea. So I'm just gonna swerve around them because it doesn't seem like they're stopping me. Am I like, oh, maybe I should have went back and went down there. It looks like, whoa, whoa, look at this guy. Because a lot of stuff has fallen out of the cupboards. Oh boy, whoa, whoa, we're drifting again. Back to the whole drifting situation. You better move, dude. These guys are awful at making roadblocks. Oh, I'm cutting this guy off so bad. Oh gosh, I didn't do too much better there, did I? But this is so cool. This is one of the coolest moments of the game so far. Whoa, look at that police officer on the chase. That is so cool. All right, I'm out of here. See you guys. There's construction workers all over the place. We're getting closer, I think. I don't think we're gonna need the full three minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut across here. Take this baby off road. Ooh. Yeah, okay, we got it, we got it. Beep, beep. Don't you hear the police siren, buddy? <laughs> oh, there's nobody in that bus. I mean, I guess the driver has to be, but hopefully nobody more than that. Ooh, out of here. Come on, move, move, move. Watch out, watch out, watch out. We got places to be like Gray. Yeah, we did it. That was awesome. Do you mind if I drive it from here? No. I wanna show Ellie that I can be trusted. All right. Enjoy getting your photo in the papers, Frank. Ha! Oh gosh. 
He really knows how to create a scene, doesn't he? I can't he? wait all day, Marion. I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon. Where is that truck? Uh-oh. Here he comes. As if I'm interested in fame and fortune. <gasps> My public! <laughs> ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck. Good old Frank Honey delivers again. Oh, Come no, watch out! Sorry, madam. Hi there, Mayor Gleason. Hey, Chief. <laughs> hey, sitting Dundee. down with them. Honey! Waffles! What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Ooh. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well, how could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Ooh. Oh, really? <laughs> Dunby's in trouble. That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? Oh, that's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Chang Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Ooh, so we have our first undercover gig? <laughs> So now we're in chapter five, undercover. Frank, Ellie, you hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dumby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're gonna get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. <laughs> huh? Good you old parents. You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh. It all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. Okay then, so. Oh, look at that. We look like a hoodlum. We have unlocked Chase Undercover Police. Oh, so is that a whole new set? No, that's just this, okay. Interesting. I look pretty cool, I think. And we've also unlocked Grace Make Peace. Okay, cool. I barely recognize you. Yeah. Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase. <laughs> All right, then. Well, that's where we're going to... Oh. Okay. Let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chan. Okay, so we'll go ahead and figure out Mr. Chan's gang in the next episode. I had no, like, stopping point until now. But yeah, we're now in Chapter 5, which will, of course, officially start in the next episode. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of LEGO City Undercover. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and, of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Kung Fu Zebra so I know you've watched it in the video and you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.